Today I'm going to be solving problem 7.30 from the book Introduction to Electric Dynamics by David J. Griffith. The problem states, a long cable carries current in one direction uniformly distributed over its circular cross section. The current returns along the surface. There is a very thin insulating sheath separating the currents. Find the self-inductance per unit length. So drawing the figure, we have a cable with the length of L. So we're going to write L in cursive. And we have a current over its circular cross section that carries, that is uniformly distributed. And we then have that current return along the surface. So because we're looking for self-inductance and the current inside is distributed uniformly, we can use Ampere's law to find the magnetic field. So according to Ampere's law, the magnetic field is integral of B dot DL is equal to mu naught I in close, where B is the magnetic field, DL is the length element, mu naught is the permeability of free space, and I in close is the current flowing through the enclosed Ampere's loop where we can actually create an Ampere's loop in the center of our cable because our current inside is uniformly distributed, creating an Ampere's loop right here. I'm gonna give this a radius of S. And we also know that the cable has a radius of big R. So now that we created the Ampere and loop, we can actually solve for the left side of Ampere's law to get b dot 2 pi s is equal to mu naught i in close. And now we have to solve for i in close. Luckily, again, inside the cable, the current is distributed uniformly in one direction. Because of that, I can solve for, cur for i in close by finding the current per unit area, j, where j equals i over pi r squared where the current is the total flowing current of the wire and r is the radius of the wire and then timesing that by pi s squared where i is equal to j times pi s squared substitute this back in i pi big r squared times pi s squared pi's cancel i enclose is equal to the current times s over r squared where i will substitute my current enclosed back into this equation above to get b dot 2 pi s is equal to mu naught current times s over r squared Solving for the magnetic field alone, we get magnetic field is equal to mu naught current times s over 2 pi r squared. Since we just have the magnitude, we want the direction of our magnetic field, which will be in the phi hat direction. So after finding the magnetic field, we know that self-inductance, that's what we're looking for, is related to the stored energy given by this equation, where stored energy W is equal to one half of the inductance times current squared. So we have to solve for stored energy, which is given by the equation, stored energy is equal to one over two mu naught integral of all space, the magnetic field squared times d tau, d tau, where this integral will be limited to the inside of our cable only. So I'm going to substitute our magnetic field back into the equation. And 
get that the stored energy w is equal to one over two mu naught integral all space mu naught i s two pi big r square all this will be squared since it's b squared times d tau where d tau for a cylinder will be given as two pi s times length and will be in the ds and since it's the cylinder we're solving an integral from zero to big r as we want the whole in enclosed cylinder leading to our stored energy equation becoming one over two mu naught taking and taking my constants out to the front times mu naught i over two pi r squared all this squared times two pi integral from zero to r for the cylinder s cubed d s forget my l here so doing this integral and canceling out first let me simplify this down by canceling out some of my constants 2 pi goes out here mu naught will stay only one will get rid so we will get mu naught i squared times length over 4 pi r to the fourth integral from 0 to r s cubed ds solving for the integral we get mu naught i squared times l 4 pi r to the fourth times s to the fourth over 4 evaluated from big r to 0 to get the final expression of mu naught i squared times length over 16 pi is equal to the stored energy of our cable so stored stored work energy energy for our cable sorry so now that we have that found we can equate them back to our half inductance times current squared where our equation will become mu naught i squared times length over 16 pi is equal to one half of the inductance i square so solving for l we will just get rid of i squared on both sides times this by two times this by two this will simple down simplify down to inductance is equal to mu naught i over 8 pi sorry not i l and we we're solving for the self inductance per unit length so we we'll divide by length one over length one over length to get self inductance per unit length is equal to mu naught over eight pi as we can see the self inductance is constant and does not depend on the radius of our cable